Rabbit's really special on the King's Road because you're walking down this road, it's got lots of shops and restaurants that you recognise, and suddenly you come across this wild independent called Rabbit, which was our kind of take on taking quite a commercial road and putting something really unique in there. And going, calling it Rabbit was quite bold, making it about wild food, making it about natural produce. Uh, and, and putting it bang smack in the middle of London. So at Rabbit, we cook seasonal British food from its rawest possible state. We have an amazing supply chain using biodynamic farmers down in Sussex, my younger brother, and lots of other people that we have known and got to know through the journey of opening these different restaurants in London. How we source our produce is through lots of different small farms across the southwest of England and that's how we get our fish from day boats down from the Eastbourne coast from Polgate from Brixham uh, my younger brother breeds beef pigs and lamb uh, and we shoot a lot of deer on the farm as well all the game at this time of year comes through local suppliers through game dealers that we have great friendships with but the beauty of it is especially running hard out London restaurant kitchen services is my most favorite activity is to close the door and go and walk through the countryside with a backpack on picking the likes of the rose hips the damsons the slows the wood sorrel the chickweed and being part of that world where everything is created naturally and you can actually f feel the food coming out through the earth and that's where I sort of home in on as a chef. So we started The Shed in 2012, and uh, The Shed was very much capturing Gladwin Brothers and, and the three of us with a farmer, a chef, and a restaurateur. And as we ran The Shed for a couple of years, we began to realise that not only farming was fantastic, but it was also the hedgerow and all that you could find on the edge of the farm and, and the wild food that was all around. So Rabbit came about uh, through foraging and our passion for it. The reason why I wanted to cook Snipe is because it's very special and I believe that any uh, restaurant experience that somebody comes to Rabbit would be very special and individual. But I believe that we lose a lot nowadays through the um, av availability of produce from our supermarkets and how that our new generation of, of young children could walk through a supermarket and pick pineapples, mangoes, bananas. They could see it all. They, they know what that is, but they couldn't walk through a local forest and tell me what an oak tree or a hazelnut tree looked like. So. I cook with the measure of what our ancestors used to know. The reason why I love to forage is because that old knowledge that is getting lost through generations of getting older. So I, I want to bring back or help people remember from their dining experience at Rabbit that snipe is amazing, it's beautiful, it's delicious. You can pick cob nuts from a tree, you can pick wood sorrel, and this is free food. And I go through that old ancestral um, ethos of a phrase, what grows together goes together. So if it's out in the countryside living in amongst everything else, then actually that marriage has happened naturally. Every single dish is special. It's seasonal, it's been thought about. Each restaurant has seven chefs working hard to get the job done and, and, and create an, in something really special, something that the, um, that the dish, that bit of produce deserves. And I think our ever-changing menu, the staff in the front of the house having the knowledge of the dishes and, and the seasonality all adds together to make it something that's really quite exciting and, and different.